middle switch. Yeah, that one. Middle switch. Go for two. That's it. Go for two. Go for two. Go for two. This is Narayan Prabhu. All senior devotees are. So, should have probably done. So happy to meet the senior most disciples of this chamber.
it has been told. <coughs> How a person can be? Especially, how he can be transcendently happy by money, affluence, wealth, any money can be. We are all eternal servant of Krishna. So, if anyone is serving Krishna, and he had attained the service of Radha and Krishna conjugal eternal. He is only and that is why the Guru Dev Siddha Pradhan Swami Maharaj to call him Prabhupada. He came to Western countries and Eastern countries so that they may be happy. In a very small time, at least of our whole world, and she was one of the senior most devotees. And she has served so much. In our line, Rupa Nuga, not even serving Krishna, if anyone having a strong desire to serve Srimati Radhika and Krishna will know it. Quickly he will be controlled and he will be her, him or her athlete. If anyone wants to attend the Krishna Bhakti, he will not be so happy. But if anyone is praying to Krishna, Shyama Sundar Shikhanda Shikha, Smirahas Murali Manohar, Aradhika Rasik Mantripani Desha Priya Charna Indra. Oh Krishna, you are beloved of all devotees, especially of Srimati Radhika. Krishna is your beloved, mm. Radhika is your beloved. So if you want to give me any boon, I want that. You should make me the maid servant of Srimati Radhika, nothing else. Who has told Raghunath Das Krishna, Rupanu, Acharya? Tvai Vasmi, Tvai Vasmi, Najimami Tvaya Bina, Ita Vigyaya Radhi Tamlai Mahasaya. So there is nothing higher than this one. Rukhvasan, all other side, told like this. Ha Devi, Kāpū bhargata-gata-yādya-vācā-yācēni-patya-bhovi-dandapat-udhukatārati asya-prasād-mambudhattya-vanastra-kṛtya gāndhar-vike-tau-gani-kara-nāti-kari. O Śrīmati Gādhike, please admit me in your school and register my name in your in the names of list of your all made servants. I only want to serve. We what Veda Jita can be told. Sachidananda Ghana Krishna. He should be merciful to sprinkle his mercy so that he or she should be happy for him. So, so, everywhere like this. So, in this prayer, in this mantra of Veda, Govinda should be merciful, Krishna should be merciful, Nishinga Dev should be merciful, 
रामचंद्र शुड बी मर्सी हनुमान शुड बी मर्सी ऑल डिवोटी शुड बी मर्सी Have they done dental surgery? Radha and Krishna Kanjuri. So we are praying to Radha and Krishna Kanjuri that He should bestow her their mercy to her on His birthday. Go, Praman. Hari Hari. I want that this day you should tell two words. <coughs> Ms. Radha Dasya, he taught to us this about our Srila Prabhupada, and that's why you see that so many of Prabhupada's disciples have given up everything and are following him around the world and are engaging in his service, in the service of Prabhupada. Even the um, pranam mantras to Prabhupada, Srila Gurudev gave us the deep meaning of what they mean. Um, Jai Nichalila Pravishta Om. Jai, we're praying to Prabhupada that uh, you should be victorious. My mind and senses are on one side as demons, and you should be Jai. Jai means Jai Jupta. You should be victorious, and my mind and senses should be defeated by you, and you should control them. And Nichalila, he's teaching us by his mercy. We know exactly where Prabhupada is, what he's doing in the service of Radha and Krishna, how he's serving them at different times of the day. Pravishta Om, he's entered into that Nichalila. Eternally he's from there, and by past times he's gone back there, and inviting us by sending his representative to help us join him there. And Vishnupad, even Vishnupad, we didn't know what that meant until we met Srila Gurudev. Because which Vishnu is that that Srila Prabhupada is serving? That Vishnu that Srila Vishnu Chakrabari Thakur describes in the Srimad Bhagavatam. That Vishnu who is Krishna who became many in the Rasa dance. That Krishna Prabhupada is serving in the Rasa dance and engaging in so many services there. Astotara Sata Sri. Astotara Sata. I asked Srila Gurudev in Bali a few years ago, what does that mean? He said, Astotara Sat means 108. So 1 and 8 equals 9. And 9 is the ultimate number. So our Srila Prabhupada and all of our Acharyas in our line have the ultimate number of Sri's as their quality. All material opulence, beauty, wealth, fame, strength, renunciation, all spiritual opulences of Vaikuntha or Krishna Loka, all the Lakshmi's, all the gopis and Radhika herself has invested her sri, her beauty, uh, in the in the heart. And Prabhupada is a manifestation of that sobham or sriyam or service to the uh, lotus feet of Radharani and her service to Krishna. So Srila Gurudev is bringing us to the deepest understanding of Prabhupada and his books, uh, and even teaching us how to read his books by praying that, O oh, Prabhupada, and whoever is commenting on the book, O oh, Visvanath Chakrabari Thakur, and oh my dear Shiksha Guru, you are sitting with me as I'm reading, and you are my Shiksha Gurus, so please take me and dive me into the deepest understanding of what I'm about to read. So we're so grateful to Srila Gurudev that he's giving us Prabhupada in the most, most deep way. We're eternally indebted. Um, I was thinking, standing in the back in the kirtan, that somehow I would have to say something here today. So I was thinking, what should I say? But then Prem Prayojan saved me and gave me something written by a dear follower. So I should read that after I just give a short introduction. And that's that... Everything that any of us do should be gauged on what bhakti it produces. Anukulyasya sankalpa, pratikulyasya varjana. 
We reject what doesn't help our bhakti and we accept what does. This is the rule of a Vaishnava. And the real question then is, how do we know what helps my bhakti? But Srila Prabhupada always thought that was a very easy question. And he quoted another verse, the Bhagavatam verse. Bhakti parishanu bhavo viraktera nyatra chai satrika eka kala prapadyamanasya takshanata shus pushti pushti kshuda payo nagasam. Which means that just as when you eat, there are certain symptoms that come from eating, and one feels fulfilled in having had that meal, and no one can tell him that he hasn't eaten and felt the satisfaction of eating. Similarly, when you experience bhakti, this, a similar but transcendental uh, fulfillment comes in the heart. And it's very easy to know that, yes, I'm making advancement by accepting this particular thing. Yes, I'm making advancement by rejecting another particular thing. So I would just like to suggest that anyone who has the time to come and be with the devotees here, and with Srila Narayan Maharaj over the next few days will have that taste of fulfillment and know well what to accept in their devotional life. So other than that, if I could read this. This is from, you might remember, Anantacharya. You met him, Brahmachari, glasses in Hawaii. Oh yeah, small. Uh, Saffron cloth, the elderly person. He was everywhere. In his he came to Maui and also Maui to and the other. other. So he says, in recent days, there has been frequent talk of pickpockets. What has to be the world's best pick? The, the best pickpockets in the world are in the country of Guatemala. When a Guatemalan takes something from you, he does it so smoothly, so perfectly, so politely and with so much expertise that when he gets done, when that pickpocket is done, you feel that whatever he took from you must have actually been his property all along. Um, and that's a fact. So you have been, you, so now you have an introduction to what comes next, because it is rumored that in your neighborhood, there is a transcendental pickpocket <laughs> who has been imported from a foreign place, from far, far away, from a region wherein the inhabitants are accustomed to stealing each other's hearts regularly. <laughs> when this pocket takes from you that which he wants, he does it so nicely, so sweetly, so wonderfully, and with so much love, that when he gets done, you'll feel that what he takes actually belonged to him all along. <laughs> right from the start. And actually, that's the fact. So then he gives a short story. Um, in 1977, in Vrindavan, India, November 15th. Some of you may have the date emblazoned forever in your heart. Uh, Srila Narayan Maharaj took charge of the uh, pre-Samadhi Parikrama and Samadhi preparations for my Gurudev, His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Srila Prabhupada. Bhaktivedanta Srila Prabhupada. Yes. Although Swami Prabhupada had departed the evening before, we continued to serve and worship His Divine Grace throughout the night with a Parikrama of Vrindavan and a Samadhi plan for the next day. The following is an ep excerpt from a diary of a devotee from the diary of the devotee who's writing this letter, Anantacharya. By 5 a.m., everyone is back. As Mangalarti uh, starts a little later, many devotees turn their backs to Srila Prabhupada in order to pay prostrated obeisances to the deities. Narayan Maharaj and his associates remain motionless and do not budge. In no time at all, Narayan Maharaj is laying it on the line to Gopal Krishnadas. <laughs> The devotees are to stay at the Vyasa Sam, facing Srila Prabhupada, and there is to be a simultaneous arati for Srila Prabhupada and the Vya at the Vyasa Sam, while the arati also goes on for the deities. Gopal Krishna quickly gets everything arranged nicely, and a nice arati is held at each of the three altars, plus at Srila Prabhupada's Vyasa Sam. Srila Narayan Maharaj leads the kirtan and winds everything up with repeated resounding, Jai Gurudev, Jai Gurudev one after another. 
The parikrama begins at 6.45 and the palanquin is lifted from the Vyasa sign and carried to the center of the courtyard, where we circumambulate Srila Prabhupada with more chanting. When we proceed through the front gate of the mandir down the road to Vrindavan and the parikrama, parikrama to each of the seven temples of Vrindavan, uh, Srila Narayan Maharaj is arranging everything so nicely, leading the procession, leading the kirtan, and seeing with great attention that everything goes along perfectly for our Gurudev, Srila Prabhupada. Srila Narayan Maharaj is now conducting the parikrama, acting on behalf as our very capable leader, and seeing to it that everything is conducted nicely for Srila Prabhupada. For the next six hours, Srila Narayan Maharaj is indefatigable, watching everything and continuously providing the devoted and competent leadership needed so that all the details of the parikrama and the samadhi are executed perfectly. That excerpt was written 22 years ago in 1977, so this letter is an offering to His Divine Grace Srila Narayan Maharaj from someone who is very much appreciating everything that he did for my Gurudev and his disciples on that morning, right from the beginning and everything that he has been doing for us ever since. Just like my own Guru Maharaj, he's simply wonderful when it comes to sweetly, graciously, and lovingly stealing your heart and putting it in his pocket. <laughs> Thank you very much, your devoted servant, Ananta Charya Das. Yamaka Prabhu, all of Yamaka Prabhu, please come. You can speak to work. I have no idea what to say. Uh, it was just our good fortune to have Maharaj come to our home out of all the people and all the devotees here in Alachua. And somehow, someone from Miami, was it, um, who was it from Miami who got in charge? Ekanti had, had, had called and talked to uh, Mitravindra. Uh, Murli, uh, the, who teaches a school in our in our room, in, our, in one of our rooms every day, and she asked me if I would. Well, it's a big imposition, Jalakara, and you know it will cause a lot of problems. But could you host Narayan Maharaj? And, and, and immediately, I said yes. <laughs> What a, what a wonderful opportunity for myself and for my family and for everyone here to have the darshan and association of a saintly person, a pure devotee. And I'm not thinking Gaudiya Math or Iskan or Chaitanya Math. I'm thinking Vaishnav. <laughs> In my life, the most important thing is the association of Vaishnavas. And I don't discriminate about the association of Vaishnavas. I try and associate with all Vaishnavas. And this is why we came to this place, Alachua, because there were so many Vaishnavas here that we could associate with, and that we could raise our children in the company of Vaishnavas, and we could live simply, and live happily, and we could chant Hare Krishna. So. On, on behalf of all the residents of Alachua, I'd like to welcome Maharaj to our humble home and our humble community, and I hope that we can give you a fitting welcome, and I hope that we can hear from you attentively, and that we can learn about pure devotion. And thank you very much for making the difficult journey to this insignificant place, Maharaj. Hi. Uh, 
Well, the first thing I feel most blessed because, like a uh, a dog trying to always catch up with a master, in the last five years I've always been right behind you. I've just come to LA or some area where you leave or Badger and you're going or I go to India and you just left and I've constantly been missing the mercy. So my greatest fortune is uh, to have the opportunity to have that mercy. And in, in coming here this evening and for the last years hearing, reading, hearing so many of your pastimes, your activities, things you've said and talking to so many of my God brothers and God sisters, in behalf of all of them, I want to thank you because something that we've needed for a very long time, and that is a cementing processing, helping devotees, because so many who had fallen away or run into difficulties or whatever, by Krishna's arrangement, you've come and you've enlivened their back into a, our Krishna <coughs> conscious culture and once again engaging in bhakti. And for that, there is no applause, there's no compliments, there's no thank yous that we could possibly show you. I wanted to turn to another discussion about another Vaishnavi, and that's Mother Jadarani. Um, as I see Mother Jadarani, I think back, this July will be 30 years that I came in contact with Srila Prabhupada and was initiated one year later. And I joined on Henry Street in Brooklyn. And I was, uh, as Puru will, will also remember, we worked in the incense business and we were putting together and was one of the most major, you know, financially uh, making things that we did in order to bring in the income. Um, we went in one year, John Ryan remembers, from 28 devotees in the temple to 128 devotees in the temple. And we had three floors upstairs in the attic and we had two um, um, basements. I had the great fortune of having my office in the second basement next to the heater. <laughs> along with, somebody, along with uh, some other well-known devotees. Um, once in a while, I could get a break and sort of crawl out of that second uh, basement. And I'd make my way, always was my choice, to make my way one block away to the art department. And only, almost crawling on my hands and knees would sort of slowly merge up to Jadarani as she was painting, always with the same bright smile that you see her here today, nothing different. And as she would always speak such wonderful Krishna Kata that it was enough to keep me going to the next time that I could crawl away into Jadarani. I'd like to offer Percy in my respectful face. <laughs> Yes. 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 
when he left his home, like a street beggar in Mathura, a street beggar, he came to Mathura. Anyways, nothing, no, nothing actually. And he came to me and I requested him. I brought him. He was staying in another place. I requested him, oh, you should come here. And I brought him a special devotion. And then he came. He was with me several months there. First I requested him that you are so much a lovely person. And Prabhupada wanted to uh, wanted that you should preach in English here and there and in foreign countries. And you are like a beggar here and there. Going on. You must take some yash. First I told him. And then I also requested him by Gurudev that uh, you should write later him. And he should, he must take some he also requested him. And then he arrived. At that time he told me one story. That when I was initiated, I began to read Srimad Bhagavatam. And in Srimad Bhagavatam there was a slok. Jasya Jada Anugranami Harishe Tadhanam Krishna himself telling that if anyone takes my shelter, then I make him a straight pillar. So I was very much feared. And oh, if I am going to be a very good devotee, then I will have to give up my whole thing and I, I will be a straight beggar. What should I do? And at that time, he was manager of Bengal Kalika. Not manager, but he was proprietor like. He was telling that I was fearing. But I never uh, give up, give up chanting her name and reading books and doing all these things. Quickly, my manager post was gone. Then I came to Allahabad. And I started my own business, medical factory. But after one or two years, it was also stopped. Then I started a medical shop, very famous. But after some time, it also stopped. Then he began to do some. No, uh, not. Uh, Medical representative. Uh, medical representative, but also quickly so, fell. And then he became president. Then at that time he came to me, and when I requested him that oh, he used to take some nap, then he told that I, I have a thing. I told that your wife has also kicked you, your sons also. Then why you are here? <laughs> just now, my Gurudev is coming. And you should take some yash. And he admitted. And then my Gurudev came, he requested his God brother, Eshi Bhakti Vedanta, and he quickly admitted. And thus he took some yash there. In I was, I was like a priest. I gave him thunder. Saffron cloth. I taught him how to take it, how to do, use it, and fire sacrifice, and everything I did. And when he took sannyas, I went to Delhi with him, Vrindavan here, Jhansi, and everywhere, and sang him. Sometimes in Vrindavan, oh, we both used to make chata, chapatis. <laughs> he used to roll on and I used to cook. And cook and then making some ghee and then offering 
and we used to sit together and to take chapatis. At that time he has no bed, nothing, no seat, nothing. I used to give my this chadar and on that he used to sit and discuss so many things. And in the last he called me last day. Uh, once also one thing. Mm. When he returned from America. first America. America, I was only one in airport. In airport to receive him. <coughs> and I sent all his kartal, books, deities, Mithai, Peda Mithai also. Peda Sweet. <coughs> Selfless. I saw him. And that is why he has so much faith on me. We have so many relations. First, like my, he was God brother of my Guru. So, he is my Siksha Guru. From beginning, I accepted him as Siksha Guru. And you know that there is no difference between Siksha Guru and Siksha Guru. So, I respected him like my Guru. And he, without hesitating anything, he used to order me for any his service. <laughs> and he has written in his letters, you can see his letters. <laughs> that our relation is transcendental. As my relation was to Prabhupada, <laughs> your same relation to me. <coughs> and that is why the last day, he called me, I went here. His, his talking was just talked. He was not speaking. But when he saw me, he at once took his, my hand in his hand. And he wanted to make me sit on his car. Yeah. But I did not. I wanted to sit no. nearby. But he at once ordered Tamal and others that he just should bring chair, then he took rock chair. And then he began to weep and began to talk with him. And now so happy that you have come. I have some request to you. He told me so many things. Especially what he wanted to tell me. Especially he told me in Bengali. And for others, he spoke, told me some in English. He told that, I know that I will not be in this world, so I request him, that you should forgive me. I have told something in my preaching that was not correct, only to inspire my devotees. My new 